Hey guys, Comic Nerd Pablo here, and today I'm doing another Lego video. But this time, I'm not worried about Lego sets in general, but the minifigures that come in those sets. And so, I decided to do my top 10 list of my favorite Lego minifigures, and I got various themes, and by various themes, I only mean four. Which is Lego DC Super Heroes, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Lego Star Wars, and Lego Minifigures series. But besides that, uh, today's Saturday, it's nice as fuck outside, and I hope all of you guys are having a great weekend. Great, great weekend. And, uh, let's get started. But before we get started, fidget spinners. The closest thing to a mental disability I have. But either way, uh, let me get started with this list. So number 10 on our list, my list is the Joker, who appeared in various sets, but I actually got him for a cheap price at a Lego Junior set that came with Robin and Batman a few years ago for my birthday. And here we have like that kind of lame smile, and then we have like that full bat shit smile, and here we have... His torso, which is just printed clown torso, and the bags, legs aren't printed. That's why I have them so low on this list, because other characters on this list have like a lot of printing and stuff. So I'm just gonna put the Joker here to the side. Do the camera have to come up? Then I'm gonna try and put him on the angle so the camera picks him up as I go by. So number nine is yet another DC superhero, Superman from Batman vs Superman. I have him with the angry face, but obviously you can change his face to that classic Superman grin. Which is ironic because Zack Snyder never gives him a smile like this. So this is false advertising. But besides, here we have a pretty good costume. Nice update of the Man of Steel one. With a red fabric cape. Better than the old cardboardish capes. Sorry, I messed up a little. Here he has printed legs and printed torso front and back. And let me just try and place him next to the Joker. God damn it, I knocked him down. So there we go. Number eight is the Resistance X Wing pilot. I don't know what his name specifically is in the movie, but I remember he was a cameo. He was only in the film for like two minutes. But here he has like a blue helmet. And he has like that orange design that comes with every single pilot. And he has like a bearded face. His bearded face reminds me a little of, uh, what's his name, what's his name? He came in a bunch of Prince of Persia sets back in the day. But anyways, let me just place him next to Superman. And there we go. I'm not to move some of these. Next off is the Battle Damaged Stormtrooper who came in the Imperial Battle Pack. Which was based off the video game Star Wars Battlefront. Not the old one, the really crappy remake from EA Games. And he comes with a stud shooter, a jetpack. Damn it, one of the studs fell off. I'll have to look for that later. And uh, his face is just that generic clone trooper slash storm trooper head they've been using for like the last six years. And there we go. So these are our four, four so far. And number five on the list is the First Order Stormtrooper from LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. The set I specifically got this one in was the First Order Battle Pack. He's just a generic Stormtrooper with a generic gun. He didn't actually come with this gun, I just put this gun on him. Because I didn't really like the stud shooter guns. These are kind of a pain in the ass because you fire them sometimes without meaning to. But anyways, he has the same face as the Stormtrooper. Generic soldier, clone head, whatever you want to call it. Number Number four on the list is Ultron from the Lego sets for Avengers Age of Ultron. He's a little dark, so you can't really see him, but here he is. Yeah, he's all he's mostly like a dark kind of silverish black. He's his face with dinosaur helmets. Let me try and get that off the camera. Yeah, you guys can see that a little bit. He has full printed legs, full printed body, but sadly has no printed bat, uh, arms, I must say. So these five I'm going to take off to the side so I can pose the other five that are coming up on the list. 
Pop the juice to the side and put Ultron right there. Next up on the list is Armored Batman from uh, the Lego DC Batman vs Superman sets. And I actually really like this minifigure. I know a lot of people are kind of disappointed with him. His eyes glow in the dark as long as, as as well as his Bruce Wayne face. All that white part on him glows. He has like this Kryptonian rifle. Kryptonian rifle. What am I saying? Kryptonite rifle with grapple on the back and a batarang. He has a giant armor piece underneath it. It kind of looks like uh, very reminiscent of the Frank Miller Batman suit from the end of the series. From the end of the first book. You know, the only good book really. Because the second book was a piece of crap. So, in reality, the only good book. And next is one, actually one of my favorite minifigures. I believe this is number three on the list. Is War Machine from the Lego Civil War Airport Battle. I actually really love this minifigure. I think it's a giant update of the one we got from uh, Iron Man 3. Because the one in Iron Man 3 is basically almost the same as this. Except this one has more modified things and... You can see his accessories and his blaster up here. Underneath his helmet, you got the angry kind of war machine look and the smiling war machine look. And uh, here we have the red arc reactor. You can see his red eyes glowing right there. Let me just zoom him in. And like he's all black, so it doesn't really come up that well on the camera. But this is actually one of my favorite, favorite minifigures. And if you're thinking of picking up any like superhero-related sets... One I really recommend is getting uh, the Mighty Micro sets. There's not on this list and it seems kind of random. But Mighty Micro sets are really good ways to get really cool superheroes. Like uh, one of my videos is Thanos and Iron Man. You get classic 70s, 80s-ish Iron Man I think it was. And Thanos, even though they have small legs, they're still pretty cool minifigures. Other ones are Wolverine and Magneto, Wonder Woman and Doomsday, Superman and Bizarro, I think is his name. And other ones are Batman and Killer Moth and a whole bunch of them. And they're actually pretty cool. I've only picked up two, actually, which is Captain America and Red Skull and Thanos and Iron Man. As you see, I'm kind of more of a Marvel guy than a DC guy, but I really dig DC. Growing up, Batman was... Like, the shit for me. And anyways, let's get back to our list. Number two on my list is the Secret Agent guy from uh, Lego Marvel. Not Marvel, what am I saying? Lego Minifigures series. I think it was 17 or 16. I'm pretty sure this is the one after the Lego Batman movie one. And uh, here you have the goggles. I, l I really dig this hairpiece. So useful. Here has like a black version of Wonder Woman's Lasso of Truth. And he has like the generic handgun that they've been using on a bunch of minifigures. This is his face underneath. Damn, I knocked on one machine. As you can see, uh, he doesn't have skin color. He's just that generic yellow that Lego's been using since forever. If you actually think about it. Let me just try and scoot these minifigures off so you can see. You know what, I'm just going to take this off and... Number one on my list is also making her first film debut today is Wonder Woman. Here you have her sword, her really dope printed shield, her dope torso and legs, her face, her head I say, her hair. Overall, this minifigure is one of my favorites. Some of my friends and stuff tell me, Ew, your favorite minifigure is a girl, and I'm like, stop being sexist, boy. This is the the best minifigure I think I've seen in years. And if you're looking to pick this up, she comes in two sets. Uh, more modified version came out recently with the Wonder Woman vs. Ares set, which I think that's what it's called. And it comes with a biplane and Steve Trevor, Wonder Woman, more modified, and a giant Ares minifigure. And, well... This, this minifigure is pretty cool. Uh, I, she comes with uh, this Superman right here from the Lego Superhero, DC Superheroes Aerial Battle, I think it's called. It comes with Lex Luthor, Wonder Woman, uh, Batman, Le I mean, uh, what's her name? Lois Lane. I believe that's what it comes with the giant, like, Batplane from BVS. 
and a helicopter that has LexCorp on it. And it's actually a really good set. I got it for Christmas. And I got one of my favorite minifigures. I, I'm really looking forward to the movie. I might watch it tomorrow or anytime this week. But I really can't wait for the movie. So uh, those are all the minifigures that I have for you today. And uh, leave in the comment section if you want to see me do a part two. Because over there in the room over to the left, I have like billions and billions of minifigures on all sides. Which, if I did, like, a, I can, I'm pretty sure with all the minifigures I have, I could do, like, a top 20 list. And, sadly, I use some of my favorite ones right now in the video. So, it's like, if I do a top 20, it'll be kind of harder to do now. And, uh, wow. I think this is one of the longest videos I've ever filmed. We're hitting about 11 minutes now. And, anyways, uh, before I leave, I just wanted to say, hope everyone has a good weekend, and... Fit a spinner!